If you shake confidence to the point that it becomes self-fulfilling, that people change their behavior. China's lack of quality control is a key issue. Angry about the millions and millions of dollars paid out in bonuses by the insurance giant AIG? Well, get in line. None of us. America doesn't trust you anymore. People don't <laughs> trust Wall Street, and I, and I agree that they shouldn't trust Wall Street. This one is, without a doubt, a doozy. Bernard Madoff. Royal Bank of Scotland is certainly in big trouble. It's India's biggest corporate scandal in memory. Things are clearly tough for our U.S. and our global viewers, but look on the bright side. You could be in Iceland. They flew separately to Washington on three expensive corporate jets. It's really not just money that corporations have been losing hand over fist, it's also their trust. And a new survey from Edelman uh, really teases that out and shows that this is absolutely a problem. There's no question that trust in business has plummeted in the past year, and particularly in the United States, from 58% to 38%. And the biggest company in cars, insurance, um, you know, also in banking. We had a real catastrophe in the U.S., and that was the market that changed the most. In fact, the U.S. numbers now look very much like Western Europe. What's interesting, Charles, is though the government trust did not go up um, in, in, in counterposition. So, in fact, trust in everything dropped. Well, what happened really um, after Enron, which was sort of a bottom, business trust has continued to go up for the last six years. This year, we found a 20-point drop, which is the largest we've ever seen in any country in a single year. Business media governments mm. all down, while NGOs are slightly up in our study this year. Wow. So certainly, trust in business as an institution has taken a big dent. Uh, trust in government is up, and trust also in the not-for-profit sector, NGOs. Um, the people who are trusted are experts, academics, financial analysts, and also a person like yourself, or a peer, or a fellow employee in a company. Mainstream media, um, as broadband penetration continues to increase, and also as media, become, media becomes increasingly free in mainland China in particular, uh, trust in mainstream media continues to go down. I think the most important message here is that confidence in business has been seriously eroded in the last 12 months. In the United States, for example, you see a 20-point drop from mid-50s to mid-30s as to confidence as an institution. And in fact, business really has to work its way back. It has to re-earn the trust of its broad sense of constituents. I think we've moved from a shareholder society to a stakeholder society. Yeah, By a three to one margin, people want government to lead in the solution. However, they do say they want partnership among NGOs, business, and government. I would hope to come away with a sense of commitment by these leaders to say, okay, I've been knocked on my butt, but I'm going to get back up and I'm going to lead from the front. There's no time for CEOs to put their heads back in the tortoise shell right now and hide as they did in a certain way in 2002 or 4. We're in a time when we need leadership and crisis demands people being out front. There's a huge call for business to start to engage in private sector diplomacy. Mm -hmm. And what that means is business needs to take on the issues of the day, whether that's the, the credit crisis, whether that's access to, to health care, whether that's rising energy costs. Business needs to engage in all of these issues to increase its social contract to operate. But it has to do it in mm -hmm. cooperation with governments and with NGOs.